Hello everyone. Uh, this video and the next videos might sound a little bit different than the previous ones. I changed the headset and uh, the quality might change uh, as well. So I hope it won't bother anyone and uh, that the quality will come out um, great. So today's video I will show you how to um, how to secure your wallet. Uh, and how to secure your wallet is, well actually you, you need to set a passphrase to lock it and also you have to back up your um, wallet at that file which is your wallet file which contains your private keys and coins and stuff like that so let's start with um, the passphrase so here's the wallet as you can see now the fast sync has been done there's 94.24% uh, um, I'm currently syncing, there's 16 connections, uh, well I'm not stacking because well there's no coins. And yeah, so and then you go in settings, encrypt wallet, and then you enter in passphrase. You can enter whatever passphrase you want, I'm just gonna enter a sort of simple one for this tutorial. Alright, and then press yes. And then my freeze for a while, uh, that just means that it's uh, currently encrypting your wallet. And so yeah, there's an encryption keys that is being encrypt uh, that is uh, encrypting the wallet uh, file, so that whenever someone wants to get uh, well your private keys and stuff with uh, through your um, wallet at that file, they will have to uh, use the same passwords as you just entered to unlock the wallet and be able to spend your coins. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back when uh, this is done. Alright, after a few minutes, um, if it doesn't close or anything, you can just uh, right click here and then force quit. Alright, then again just do ignore and then you come back here and then double click on it and then just wait again. And then just wait for the wallet to open. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, loading block index, it just uh, scans the, uh, well, loads the number of blocks you have on your uh, blockchain fi uh, folder right now in your uh, Mac. Alright, so as you can see now, I have a lock right here, which means that and it's uh, currently uh, closed, which means that the wallet is currently cl uh, encrypted and it's locked. As it says here, wallet is encrypted and currently locked. So what you want to do right now when you uh, have coins in it, you have to go in settings and then unlock. And then by default, you should see uh, for stacking only, which is what we want. Uh, and the reason why we want it is if you uncheck it and enter your passphrase uh, whoever that passes by your computer or whatever can then just go in uh, send coins and then enter their own uh, their own address and then send all the coins to themselves and when you open it for stacking only uh, well then if someone passes by and enter their own address and tries to send their address and send all your OK cash to their own address well then they'll need to enter your passphrase to be able to send them so yeah um, so let's uh, unlock the wallet for stacking only god damn it alright so enter passphrase and then as you can see here, it's unlocked. So it says wallet is encrypted and currently unlocked. And it doesn't say, but it's currently unlocked only for stacking. All right, so that is how you, um, well, encrypt your wallet and um, unlock it to be able to uh, uh, stake, but not being able to send coins. All right, so that's it for the encryption. And uh, one other thing you need to do is actually uh, back up your wallet. So what you want to do is 
Uh, well, there's many ways to do it. I'm just going to do it uh, in terminal because it's uh, a bit easier for uh, me to do it. But it's the same path as you would do it on uh, in the GUI. So you just do on CD. And then you go on in library. And then um, application support. And then in uh, OK cache. All right. And then in here, you can see right here while it's a dat file. All right. So then what you want to do is CP while it's a dat. And then it's, uh, if I remember well, it's uh, users. Yeah, users, your username. And then you can just do desktop and then enter. And as you can see here, the file appears right here. And now you have, uh, and then you have, uh, oh. And then you have your wallet that file that I, uh, wallet file here and one here. So if by mistake you delete your wallet that that file or lose it or want to uh, change a computer or whatever, um, you can still use this file to recover your address and stuff. Alright, so fatal error, okay. Uh, couldn't uh, open the what is the dot file, it's normal, I deleted it. Alright, come back here, reopen. Alright, and first of all, I don't recommend you to delete the what is the dot file just for fun, just to practice or whatnot. I mean, don't do it. <laughs> I do it because, well, I mean, I've done it a million times, and well, yeah, it's there's no okay cache in it, so even if there's a messed up somewhere, I mean, it doesn't matter. All right, so as you can see here, I don't know if you noticed, but the address uh, the address changed. If you didn't notice the address previously, uh, I would suggest you to uh, go back a little bit and check the address to see that it did change. And also, as you can see here, there's no lock. So you still have to lock uh, the new wallet. So yeah. So I just made a new wallet to that file. So when you want to actually uh, reuse that, uh, that file, what you want to do is, uh, well, first of all, close the wallet. So quit. And then um, go back to your desktop, um, desktop, and actually I'm not going to do CD, I'm just going to do CP, alright, so CP, CP is for copy by the way, so CP, while I did that, and then to users, your username, uh, and then the app, uh, library, and then application support, and then OK cache, and then you just press enter. So then it copies, so then it copies uh, this file here, and inside of okcache the, uh, the okcache folder. So now, when you reopen the wallet, you should be able to see the old address and uh, the encrypted wallet as it was before. So I'm just gonna show you guys how it's. Um, that the information did uh, transferred from well here to well the new wallet. All right, so as you can see here, the lock is is where it was, uh, and then that's the old address we had earlier. And if you want to unlock the wallet, it's the same password as you entered before. And as you can see here, it says current. Uh, while it's encrypted and currently unlocked and stacking only. So this is how you back up your wallet and how you encrypt your wallet as well. Um, also what you want to do when you once you have this is store it on a uh, USB stick. Uh, preferably a USB stick is just going to use for it so like a 4 gig USB stick to store your uh, different 
wallet that that files for whatever other cryptocurrencies you have uh, keep in mind that this is a okcash tutorial but it works for every cryptocurrencies um, and yeah just make different folders or you can actually just change like let's say you want to uh, make sure this is the uh, okay cash wallet you can just make o wallet and then okay cash and then you store it and then once you want to uh, store it back inside of it uh, you can just do rename again and then you erase your key cache and rename it wallet at that. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it, did, it uh, gave you all the information needed. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.